we have two large horizontal plates that the upper plate is positively charged and the lower plate is negatively charged. From the relationship between electric field intensity and electric potential, we were able to discover a relationship that if we are to find the electric field intensity in between these two plates, that electric field intensity would be equal to the potential difference between in that field and the distance in between. And when we are looking at two plates like this, it is as simple as this is a uniform field. And looking at this uniform field, we know that the intensity that exists between these two uniform this uniform field is going to be the potential difference between these two plates. Divide that by the plate separation. And this plate separation in this case has been denoted by D. We shall look at a worked example. We have two horizontal plates. These two horizontal plates are two centimeters apart as shown in the diagram. Two horizontal plates are two centimeters apart and they are in a vacuum. And the upper is maintained at a positive potential relative to the lower plate. Now, they are, the upper is maintained at a positive potential relative to the lower plate so that the field strength between them is 2.5 times 10 to the power 5 volts per meter so it means that our value of E here is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power 5 volts per meter that is the meaning of that so they're asking us to find the potential difference between the plates so what is the PD between these plates the potential difference between the plates we know that our intensity E is going to be potential difference V over D. So meaning that to find our potential difference V, V is going to be equal to E times D. What is our intensity? Our intensity is 2.5 times 10 to the power 5. So that's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power 5. Multiply that by the plate separation, which is 2 centimeters. Our plate separation being 2 centimeters, we convert that to meters. And so it's going to be 0 0.02 meters. So it's going to be 0 0.02 meters. And our potential difference between the plates is simply going to be 5.0 times 10 to the power 3 volts. If an electron charge of 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 and mass of 9.1 times 10 to the power negative 31 kilograms is liberated from rest at the lower plate, find the speed of the electron on reaching the upper plate. These are our two plates. We are having an electron here and it is being liberated towards the positive plate and they are asking us to find the speed by which it is liberated from, from rest, from this lower plate to the upper plate. So, let's get one thing here, that when this electron here, it is having a charge, it is an electron, meaning that it is negatively charged. If it is negatively charged, it is definitely going to be repelled from this negative plate and it is going to be pushed towards the positive charge as a result. So while it is moving up, uh, at first it has electric potential energy, so as it is moving up, this electric potential energy, while it is in this field, is being converted into the kinetic energy with which it is going to use to move to the upper plate. So it means that from the law of conservation of energy, we know that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it is either, but can be changed from one form to another. So it means that the electric potential energy that was possessed by this electron while it was in the field has been converted into the potential energy with which it is moving towards the plate. And so that is our first step, that the electric potential energy has been converted or it is going to be equal to the kinetic energy of the electron. And the electric potential energy here is, which is the actually the work done, is QV is equal to the kinetic energy with which the electron moves and that is going to be a half times the mass of the electron times the velocity with which it moves, v squared. So making u the subject of the formula because we're interested in finding the velocity with which it moves, u is going to be equal to 
the square root of 2 times the charge times the uh, potential difference between the plates divide that by the mass so it's going to be 2 times the charge on the electron which is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 times the potential difference which is going to be 5.0 times 10 to the power 3 we got this potential difference in our previous because it's a continuation of this it's 5.0 times 10 to the power 3 volts divide that by the mass the mass of the electron is a constant that was even given in the question which is 9.11 times 10 to the power negative 31 and we end up our, with our answer as 4.2 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second and that is uh, the velocity with which it moves this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i encourage you to subscribe if you want more of these tutorials otherwise for the benefit of your colleagues out there who would like to watch this tutorial simply share this video thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next tutorial for kisembo academy this is Arnold Rangakuramia.